For three years, the world has been waiting for High Level to bring in WhatsApp. Ladies and gentlemen, that day is finally here. And if you are literally anywhere else in the world besides the good old US of A, you're probably using WhatsApp way more than you're using text messaging or iMessage. Luckily, I married a European, and so I use WhatsApp all the time. And I see the immense value that it brings, especially with some of the costs that we'll talk about here in a second that can really add up in countries outside of the US when it comes to Twilio fees. So in this video, we're gonna go over the background of how WhatsApp was brought to the platform. It's actually really important to know. Secondly, how you can set this up for you and your clients. And then lastly, how you can profit. And of course, we just, we have the hater blockers on today because why not? So the reason that High Level took so long to integrate WhatsApp was actually explained at this year's GHL Summit. Sean Clark himself said, look, we didn't want to give something we would have to take away. Basically, there was a back door that some third party tools were exploiting to get WhatsApp into your accounts, but they knew that if they did that, they would probably get slammed by meta and then they'd have to take it away and that's not something they wanted to do to their clients or your clients and some of those third-party tools still exist however if you want to stay as compliant as possible and not risk getting banned high levels is definitely the best solution plus it integrates really seamlessly and allows you to resell and upsell your customers on it which is very nice not to mention as i said some of the insane twilio costs outside of the us some people in australia were paying close to a dollar a message which was very quickly becoming super unsustainable and so having whatsapp is an absolute game changer from a cost perspective. Speaking of costs, how much is WhatsApp going to cost you? Well, it's $10 per sub account for unlimited messages every single month, but there is a catch on those unlimited messages, which I'll go over in a second. If you are on the $4.97 plan, however, you will be able to upsell this to your clients. So let's say $20, $30, $40 a month. You could give them the ability to use WhatsApp inside of your software. And to set an agency-wide offer at that $10, $20, $30 a month, you just go to agency settings and then reselling and you set that. However, if you want to individually decrease Increase that or increase that for any given client, then you can go into their individual sub account settings and set that lower or higher. Now, once you've set that agency wide offer, your clients can actually start opting in to use WhatsApp. And this is how they will see that inside of their accounts. You've got the WhatsApp button on the sidebar and they'll be able to go in there, put in their credit card and sign up. Once they do that, it will create two subscriptions in the system, your subscription for $10 a month and their subscription for whatever you set it at. And now this is where we get into that caveat I talked about earlier, where you're not actually able to send unlimited messages. The messages are truly unlimited, but you have to send them within 24 hours of when the customer sent you a message. So if they reach out, fair game for 24 hours. And then if you text back, let's say an hour later and they text back another hour later, it resets the clock every single time they text you. But let's say for some reason you don't get back to them, it's the weekend and you need to message them back and it's been over 24 hours. Or you're the one actually reaching out to them in the first place and they didn't text you first. This is where templates come into play and these can be a little bit finicky, so make sure to pay attention. First of all, these templates are not free. The cost for every country will be on your screen now, and you can access this full list by going to the high level help article about WhatsApp. But the TLDR here is it's somewhere between one and a half cents to 14 cents per message, depending on what you're sending and what country you're sending it in. So I'll show you how to set up those templates in a minute. But first of all, once your client has purchased WhatsApp, they're going to have to connect their Facebook account. And then once that's connected, they're going to have to choose a WhatsApp business number to text back and forth from. So this is what the account should look like once you've set this up. You'll have account review status approved, may take some time to get there. And this meta business verification status, as far as I can tell, isn't necessary to send messages or even put WhatsApp into workflows. You may need it for advanced features inside of business manager itself. But as we all know, nobody actually wants to use business manager. You may as well just use it in GHL. I even tried to verify myself and the button just didn't work inside of business manager. So I'm not sure what to think about this, but it's not causing any issues for the time being. And I've confirmed that with others as well. All right. So once that's done, we'll head into templates here. And this is where we create those templates to send that I mentioned earlier. So first of all, we name the template. We can do anything we want here. I'll just do a marketing intro for this. Then the category, this is super important. Marketing messages are more expensive as we saw on that screen earlier and utility messages are going to be cheaper. I believe there's two other types of messages, but high level only allows these two with the API so far. And an easy way to separate marketing and utility, marketing is going to be, we're reaching out to them first. Utility is going to be, they have reached out to us first. But with these utility ones, in order to actually qualify as a utility, they need 
need to relate to a specific order or a specific interaction, etc. For example, if you're sending an order confirmation message, it must have the order number. Or if you're sending an appointment reminder, it should have the actual appointment in it that you've previously agreed on. So to clarify, these utility ones are responses to what the user did, not necessarily that they've messaged us first, but they've engaged with us first in some way by purchasing or booking an appointment. Then on the next dropdown, we can select a language here. I'm going to go with good old English. And then the next thing that we have to do is set up the header and the body. Headers are sort of like subject lines. They look a little bit weird if you're trying to just have a normal conversation. So I definitely leave those blank if that's what you're doing. But if you're trying to send out some sort of promo, it could be a good move. So an example of a good utility message we could say here is, hey there, and then we'll add a variable, contact, first name. Thanks for scheduling your appointment and just speed through the rest of this. We're excited to see you at, and then we'll add another variable and this one will be appointment, start date and time. And I'd sign off and say Keaton Walker. You can add your sample content here so that this preview at the top looks a little bit better. So let's say we're messaging someone named Manny and their appointment date and time is February 5th at 9, 10 a.m. And then if we wanna add a footer down here, you can see what that looks like. And I'll show you what the header looks like as well, which is this kind of bolded thing at the top. Awesome. So once we've created that, I just hit create and that's going to go into pending. So as far as I know, these take a couple of days max to get reviewed and approved. And then once you have those, you can use them inside of workflows, the conversations dashboard, wherever you please. If you're still confused about the difference between marketing and utility, there's a blog post that Meta put out that you can look up. Just Google WhatsApp templates Meta. You'll be able to see the difference there. All right. So now that we have that set up, let me show you how to actually put those inside of workflows and put them inside of messages because it can be a little bit confusing. First of all, messages. If I go ahead and click on this wacky guy, Keaton Walker, and I I go to WhatsApp, you can see there's been no message initiated from this user in the past 24 hours. Please use a template to initiate a chat. So I would have to click template and this marketing intro one that I talked about would be there and I'll click use template and send. And just like that, I got it on my WhatsApp. That template just got approved super quickly and went right through. So that's very cool. Now let's go ahead and see what happens when I respond on my end. Hey there, thank you. That should pop back up in this conversations tab. I got it on my phone, but it looks like it's taking a second to update here on the computer. And just so you know, on the mobile app, you'll also be able to select between WhatsApp, text, and email if you have all of those options for that number, which will automatically sense if that person has a WhatsApp account. All right, next up, adding this to workflows. I'm going to go to workflow, start from scratch, and we'll call this demo WhatsApp. Beautiful. So let's say our new trigger, just like we showed before, was somebody booking an appointment, and we'll select the calendar that they booked that in, and then we'll go here and say, let's send them a WhatsApp message. We have to select the template, click save action and boom, there you go. And let's say this person responds, then we do a wait step and wait for their reply to this WhatsApp message and go ahead and set the time out at, let's say eight hours. Then we'd send another WhatsApp message only if they've responded at this point. And we can do manual text at this point because they've texted us back. And there you go. That's how to set up a workflow with WhatsApp. All right, now some bonus tips, guys. I was talking to a friend and former student of mine, Ben. He is South African and has lived in Europe for a long time. So he knows you know, pretty much everything there is to know about WhatsApp. And he had a pretty cool idea that he shared with me. So what you could do is actually completely replace somebody's appointment reminder system, which Maybe sending through SMS right now and instead say, hey, we're going to integrate with your EHR or your practice management software. And every single time somebody books an appointment, we'll send that info over to GHL. And then we'll have the appointment reminders go out through WhatsApp, which is a huge value add because not a lot of people use iMessage and SMS outside of the US. Now, getting info from another software like that can be tricky. So that may be where you run into a snag here. But even just being able to offer WhatsApp business messaging services and automate some of the responses, have some flows, and have that integration with everything else would be a huge value add for a lot of people. So there you have it. When Sean Clark released this, it kind of reminded me of this scene. I finally rest. Watch the sunrise on a grateful universe. If you're considering signing up for or upgrading your high-level account, please consider doing so using my link. It really helps out this channel and I offer $8,000 worth of bonuses that you can see with the link down below. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time.